have a brand new house and lot for sale here in Silang, Cavite. And let me tell you, this is an exceptional home. It's so well and finely built. There are so many areas like this that just look magnificent. And speaking of magnificent, you have a gorgeous view everywhere, really. I can't wait to show you guys around. The facade looks very, very intriguing. You have so many textures, layers, angles, and I can't wait to see what the rest of the interior looks and what it looks like from the back because I can tell right like from here that it's going to be beautiful all around. So the first thing that you will see looking at it from the front, you have your automated gate here on the left side and then your pedestrian gate is right behind this wall, which I will point to you guys, but I won't go through it because I want to go through the carport. But from here, you can see a set of stairs that's going to lead you to the main entrance on the second floor. And everything else here in front is plant uh, or plant life, including this beautiful tree that seems like it's sprouting from the wall and right in front of the building. It's gorgeous. Actually, you have another tree over here that kind of frames the entire house when you look at it from a particular angle. I think the thumbnail might look like that. So, okay. So here now, beyond the automated gate, you have a four vehicle car port. It is open and well ventilated, but it, it's also going to protect your vehicles from the rain, from the sun, because it is still covered. And then from here, you have some storage over there by the wall and then a door that you're going to have to remember. Okay as well as another door here on the right. Again, you're gonna have to remember, so you're gonna have to piece together the puzzle in your head eventually when we get to the other side of those doors. Okay, so let's now head up the main stairs here in front. And again, you'll be greeted by a garden. Ideally, we don't wanna step on the garden, but I will. <laughs> Just so I can show you that it looks like it's just garden all the way to the back. Of course it isn't, but it looks that way. It's also where your outdoor units, or at least some of them, are hidden. And I love that they're hidden within the plants also. Also, I bet you can tell because the mic's probably making all of that noise, but it's very windy here. All right, and now here you have your main entrance. You have so many layers, different kinds of wood. You also have an awning over here that's that's glass, tempered glass. So that's going to protect you from the rain without taking away any of the sunshine. Of course, when we're house tour, we're complete. We need to have some rain, but normally it's very quiet. Okay, so as you enter, this is a very light door, by the way, because of the hinge. That is a beautifully uh, executed hinge. Okay, so this is the first thing that you will see. You have a hallway. But before we go through there, let's check out the door here on the left. So this is your guest accessible powder room with your sink and your toilet right over there on the left. You have high ceiling, you have ventilation, and you still do have windows actually. Then here on the right, we have, technically you could turn this into any room that you want. You could turn it into an office, especially since you have a lovely view here in the corner window. But you could turn this into a bedroom if you wanted to. So you already have your built-in wardrobe over here. Pull out shelves. And then over here you have an ensuite, toilet and bath. With your enclosed shower space, your toilet, and then your sink. Your sink is connected to this. Basically you have a, what do you Booning countertop, yeah. So if you decide to clean it, the detonation is the sink, and I love that. So it feels like one big sink, but really it's just a lot of counter space. Also, look at the handles. I think this goes for the rest of the house. It's nice and curved, it's nice to hold, very sturdy, very minimalist. And it's just. Look at the pagagawa. Okay. Ooh, all right, so here on the right side, obviously you have an elevator shaft. It's uh, made out of glass, so it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look heavy, rather, but it's all very, like it's made out of very thick material without looking visually heavy, as I mentioned. 
You have your main stairs over here, lots of glass that lets you peer onto the view. And like, wow, what a view that is. You have landscapes here, landscapes there, houses every now and then. It's a beautiful neighborhood and very hilly. So it's very, it's almost like a painting. And you get to see all of that from your living spaces. So you have your living, your dining, and your kitchen. So generally, <laughs> obviously since this is the kitchen, you probably want your dining area or dining table to be here, especially since your ceiling kind of di dictates that. This area has, is this, correct me if I'm wrong, but is this solid wood? Solid wood there. Yeah, it's solid wood. It looks like solid wood. A lot of um, designs that we see lately, they're usually PVC, but that is solid. And then here you have your kitchen. You have your island counter with the sink, lots of storage underneath. There's a bar. And then you have an L-shaped counter over here, as well as, again, lots and lots of storage and space for your built-ins. So your oven, your microwave, and you even have a chiller. Of course, that's where your stove is in your range and space for your refrigerator. Okay, so right next to your kitchen, you have access to, wow, this is a very spacious service area slash daily kitchen. So you have your sink over here, another counter space with space for your other stove. It's madame na siyang abang for maybe a chest freezer and what have you. But this is a lot of storage space as well. Again, high ceiling, lots of room. Then you have stairs here. So let's see if this will connect to one of the doors that we saw from the carport. All right. Oh, wow. So it doesn't end. <laughs> So you still have some service area over here, but this one I believe is more for your laundry since I'm even a faucet, chime, about the drain, etc. You have another built-in sink over here, lots of shelves, and then you have some hanging rods. So clearly this was meant to be your laundry area. And then this goes out to the four vehicle carport. So this is that door. It's the one at the end of the carport. So we still have another one to go, but I wonder how we're gonna get there. So even the handrail here, by the way, it's made out of metal. But in attention to detail, tuli-tuli lang siya, and it curves so nicely right here. And then yung dulo niya, pabilog rin. So no sharp edges whatsoever, even down here. I love that. Okay, so back out to the kitchen. You again get to see a view of that beautiful landscape. I just wanna, let's go out, let's check it out. Oh, that is quality. So here you have a balcony that's not your typical just rectangular shape. It follows the shape of the entire house actually and the property. So that makes it for a very visually interesting home. And again, it makes the most of this view. Oh, and it doesn't just dry. Like when you look down, there's actually a little bit of easement. So you're not looking at just, you know, a drop. So that's actually, it's a bit of a luxury. You know, instead of just occupying that space, just because you can, you don't. That is luxury. Okay, so this is your living. Or at least, you know, some living, because obviously there's going to be other spaces in here where you can fill with entertainment, but this is just for conversing with family and friends. Now, before we head up to the second floor, let's go down because it seems, of course, there is a lower ground. But for that, make sure you hit like, click, subscribe, and click on the bell to get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Priscilla underscore official. If you want to see more gorgeous properties like this, make sure you check out our website because we actually do have some 3D models over there. It's at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. So down here, oh my goodness, I love the stairs. I'll show you guys in a bit. But down here in the lower ground, 
you have sort of entertainment area or open area. You again have another balcony similar to the one up top, but it's a little different. It actually has stairs leading else elsewhere. But this is a nice, like, chill spot. I can imagine having seating over here, maybe a TV or some consoles. And it's just a place to, you know, to converse, to talk, to have, you know, a more private time with family and friends without it being in the more common area. And then from here, you have access to a powder room. Again, this is the second powder, powder room that we've seen so far. So you have your sink and your toilet. And this is a beautiful accent wall. It looks like fabric. It's wallpaper, I believe, but it's like fabric. Of course, your elevator also goes down here. And then you have a kitchenette in this area. So you have space for your refrigerator, you have a sink, lots of storage, and then more storage on this side. Can I just say, I love the implementation of this. So it's not just your typical rectangular shape. So you have three doors over here. Are these also doors? No, they're not. Just making sure. <laughs> I love it. So bagay, may stairs na naman kasi on the other side because this is the door that leads back out to the four vehicle. Our port. So earlier, and that's what that line follows. But instead of just cutting the storage that way, just for visual interest. Love it. Okay, so before we head up, I'm very curious to see what's down there. So you have a rock garden here on the right side, which you can see from the window. Right? And then in here, oh wow, okay, all right, we are going down. So you have, like, as I mentioned earlier, a beautiful view of the landscape here in the backyard. Oh, this feels so private. So you have another area where you can just sit and hang out. You have shelves over there. I'm not quite entirely sure what is the abang man. I'm gonna get back to you on that later. But wow, this is this is nice. Parang ang sarap magkaroon ng furniture dito na parang hamok. Yung dumuduyan. And just sit here. And no one else can see you. Literally, you're surrounded by trees. And, you, and also, you feel very safe kasi meron namang ledge. Hindi ka naman mawag sa bangin or anything. This is, this is a very nice area. And then this is storage. You have a full storage room right here. A proper one too. Chop on outdoor din yung paint so it's not gonna rust. And then up here, you'll eventually land yourself in the staff area. Let's check it out. So they have their own outdoor area for whatever purpose they may need. So they have an outdoor sink, more abang, may faucet, etc. This is one of the staff bedrooms. This is the toilet and bath. Oh, it's quite large too. And then another staff room. Let's see if it's open. Yeah, it's open. It also comes with a built-in storage. Oh, so that's nice. They have their own private area before actually going back here. I love it. That's the stairs that we came in from earlier. All right, so let's go back in through this door. And you know what? I'm taking the elevator. I will meet you on the second floor. If it works. Hindi pala siya nakawon. Hindi siya I will take the stairs. <laughs> Oh, speaking of stairs, look at this one. Buti na lang pala na nag-stairs style. I love this detail. So oftentimes, slabs like this are just plain rectangular slabs for the stairs, right? Very sturdy, very solid, good quality, great. But you have a little bit of detail over here, and that is something you're going to see going up the stairs. And I kind of wish more houses looked like this, but I'm also glad because it's a very unique 
to this one. And this house pays so much attention to detail. Well, not the house itself. Obviously, mga gumawa ng bahay, di ba? Let me just look at this. See it, right? Instead of just having the wood cut off where, you know, the step ends, tuloy-tuloy siya dito, just so it's visually neat and symmetrical. I love that. Pati yung outlet to, look at how soon. Pinantay nila. That. I love, love, love that. Okay, so you might not have noticed because it's all white, but also the walls do have baseboards to keep it nice and neat and easy to maintain. But again, visually very light. And then, obviously, you have a view of your neighborhood. And then up here, the floor is different. So you still do have wood for the rest of the floor. So ground floor, kasi, or so first. Technically, you have a lower ground and then second floor. Sorry, this is the third floor. This is the second floor, tile sink flooring. This one is wood because it connotes that it's going to be for uh, the more private spaces or the bedrooms. So, kung dumano ko sa elevator, <laughs> dito sana tayo ang land, right? And you have this open space with a kitchenette here. It is so pretty. You have so much storage. You have space for maybe a chiller. But I've been outlets for your smaller appliances, maybe a coffee maker or two. <laughs> or two. And then you know kailangan coffee. And even this. It looks like a decorative piece here on this wall. But it is storage. I love it. So including these. That is so nice. So push to open or close. Magnetic. Oh, and look at the ceiling. It also follows the shape of the roof, which is very, was it asymmetrical from the front? Yeah, right? It's, it, yeah? Yeah, I guess. Alam ko like it has its character, it has its uh, uh, layers. And then again, you have this open space with the window at the front of the property, and then several doors. Let's go through this one first. All right, so this one essentially mirrors or is similar to the first bedroom that we saw from earlier. So you have this much space, you have high ceiling, corner windows, then your built-in wardrobe, then your collage shelves. So these are perfect for bags, shoes, what have you, whatever it is you want to display, gear maybe. And you have an old suite. Toilet and bath with your enclosed shower, toilet, and sink. What I did not point out earlier, though, is the fact that when you go into the enclosed shower space, you actually have a step down. So that's going to help in maintaining the rest of the bathroom nice and dry. Walang tubig na mag-overflow to the rest of the bathroom. That's super, super considerate of the ones who designed this home. Excuse me. Across that one, we have another bedroom. Now this one is much different. Oh, I love that. Okay, <laughs> I got distracted so easily. So you have your built-in desk over here with shelves. Diamond that inch outlet. So if you were gonna put your PC setup here or computer setup, this would be ideal. And you have storage here. And oh, look at the handles. That is so nice. Ang, ang neat niyang tingnan. And it's, it's nice and smooth. So it goes same for this one. That's, that's really nice. You have another corner window over here. Again, you have a view of your neighborhood and lots and lots of outlets. And then on this side, you have a nice sweet toilet bath with your wardrobe built in. So your sink, your toilet, and then your enclosed shower space, which again has a step down so that the water doesn't spill to the rest of the toilet bath. And then now, looking at this view, doesn't it just look so zen? All right, so let's now head to this side of the hallway. Yes, this entire thing are actually two sliding glass doors or panels, and they will lead you to a balcony. And then this door leads to the 
primary bedroom. So you have this much space. Ideally, you'd want to put your bed here, because there are two outlets. And this one specifically for the entertainment, so your TV. And then on either side of it, you have sliding glass doors that will lead you out to the balcony that we saw from earlier, which again has a view of this rolling landscape. It's so pretty, it looks like a painting. And then on this side, you have your own suite, toilet and bath. But not until you go through your walk-in closet. So you have a vanity over here, lots and lots of storage. Again, your shelves. And then you have a glass door that separates your walk-through closet from the actual ensuite suite and bath, which has a very spacious enclosed shower space, his and her sinks, your toilet, and then a bathtub here at the end. You also have shelving here in the at the end for your products. And then this side of the wall, you have subway tiles. Or at least something that some modern inter interpretation of uh, subway tiles. Just for that nice little uh, modern touch. Okay. I love how all of the light is going through these windows and creating these nice shadows. Okay, so let's go out here. And by the way, the sliding, or the doors, rather. <laughs> I can't speak with the way. But anyway, you can see it. There is a screen. Let's see if I can pull it out. Oh, there. Oh, it's just lang. Para marinig for the ASMR. Bakal yung screen. So it's very, very sturdy and of great quality. Oh, I love that. So here you have the topmost balcony. Feels incredibly sturdy and safe. You have tempered glass. You have a breeze. Sarap to mambay dito, grabe. And also, if you look up, again, you see lots of that texture and the angles and the lines that make up basically the character of this home. Oh, and by the way, this is actually in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I was asleep in the car ride, so <laughs> I'm not sure. Right. Ah. Oh, and I haven't mentioned it before till now, but we are in Silang Cavite, and that's the reason why everything here just feels and smells so fresh. Imagine having this home, right? Super practical, super considerate design, and it's in the middle of all of this. It's a gem. All right. Let's uh, do a recap, but before that, make sure you appreciate all of these B rolls. square meters of lot area and then 600 square meters of floor area split between three levels. You have four bedrooms, four toilet and baths, all en suite, and then you have two powder rooms. Two. You have several kitchenettes, <laughs> a beautiful kitchen that's open to your living and your dining and has access to this balcony. And speaking of balcony, you have three balconies as well and they all have this Gorgeous view. And then you have that nice and private lanai on the ground uh, in the sort of basement, really. And then you have a four vehicle car port. And all of this is inside a very exclusive subdivision 
here in Silang, Cavite. So if you're anyone you know is interested in a place like this, make sure you send this video to them. Or if you want to see it for yourself, send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. If you want to see more house tours, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more of our Build Your Owns or BYOs, click here. And if you want to see more of our other content, click right here. Also, if you haven't subscribed, okay?